Welcome back to a new season here on DXB Today and rather fittingly we are talking about the season at the moment and with us now as somebody with over a decade of experience driving global tourism in the Asia Pacific region. Next guest has helped shape and devise global tourism landscape of late. Please welcome back to the studio, Rahul Rakaja, the Senior Vice President at Dubai's DET. What a pleasure to have you back with us. Thank you for having me back. Really kind of you to join us again here on the soap. I mean, we're obviously going to talk about the season that is upon us at the moment, and it's going to be a busy one. We can all guarantee that. But before we do that, I mean, let's take a little step back to the summer, because I think it's fair to say now that although we are focusing on a season, Dubai is now a year-round destination, correct? I think it's very fair to say. Um, you know, maybe if I share a bit of recap of how the summer did, we have the numbers from January to July. We're just computing um, August numbers with the relevant authorities. Uh, Dubai welcomed 10.62 million visitors in that season. That was an 8% increase from the year before mm. with a larger sub hotel supply chain. So increasing supply with increasing demand, very healthy year for everyone. Uh, we had the lovely summer surprises, 65 days. Um, it was, you know, like people rightfully said, it was quite busy. Uh, we had 8,000 offers around the city. There was 10 weeks of retail discounts. There was like in-mall entertainment and activations. I think it was it was quite a, uh, a healthy summer for yeah. those of us who chose to stay a bit more more here. Oh, what nice. do you think? Uh, what do you think that is that attraction is in the summer? Because a lot of people run away. So how how do you think and why do you think Dubai retains? so much and you've had that that's an amazing astounding number actually. roads are quieter yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think this summer um dubai has something for everyone and in the summer there is no shortage of indoor activities and entertainment that the city just goes really really live and at the same time because the city does get fairly quieter with the resident population maybe wanting to go back home um, it gives a big chance for um, you know visitors to in, to enjoy Dubai's luxury at more maybe affordable prices. So there is a lot of value offering in the summer while still retaining that high quality of you know the five star destination, mm -hmm. the five star luxury. I mean, we had over 360 hotels and attractions participate in the Kids Go Free initiative. I think that in itself is a great appeal. You know, come and enjoy exactly what's there all year round, but at a much more you know value offering. Yeah, we definitely took advantage of that offer over and over. Two kids free. Uh, well, Hoor, summer's over. Winter is coming. Sounds like Game of Thrones there, but yes, it is. Uh, what should we be looking forward to? I mean, I think as part of the city's D33 strategy, you know, to make this place one of the best places in the world to live in, to visit, to invest, it's just always going to be active. And I think we can all visibly see how it's already started. We talk about the business calendar. It's already you know, on full throttle. Just last week, we wrapped up um, the Roya Career Fair along with uh, Gulf Food Green. It now has several iterations because one show couldn't contain them all. You know, I think they have the manufacturing one and then the, the bespoke one. In terms of leisure, I think the two most exciting festivals coming up, we have the Fitness Challenge, His Highness's 30 by 30. I hope you all participate. Um, it's going to run from October to November for a month. And then right after that, we kick off 30th edition of the Dubai Shopping Festival, Ooh. which I think is um, really going to be a special one. I'm not going to give away any of their secrets yet, but um, around the festival, you know, with the city lighting up, um, there's also festivals within the festival. So Seoul DXB is going to fall within um, the shopping festival this year, Market OTB, and there'll be some very interesting artists and lineups um, in those events as well. Oh, that's great. There is just so much. So mm. I was going to ask you how, if you're looking at the diary, how, if you were choosing one thing that you were just absolutely not going to miss, what would that be for you? I think the one I'm really looking forward to, and only because I got a secret preview a couple of weeks ago, is the Marsal Arab opening. That's really going to be a stunning addition to the already stunning, you know, Burj Al Arab and, and Jumeirah Beach uh, front. It's going to be a very unique property, and uh, in, you know, true Jumeirah fashion, it's going to take breaths away. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, and all of the, you know, it's not just in Dubai, a hotel is not just a hotel. It's a destination in, in and of its own right. So the FNB that's going to come with that, the event spaces, the you know, just just going there and enjoying that beachfront is going to be something. Special. So where so is that going to be? I missed that. It's the new hotel uh, next to Burj Al Arab, the new Jumeirah Hotel. Oh, yeah. why didn't you know this? Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be three now. Show. Now I learned a song. <laughs> okay. well, I mean, what we've sort of highlighted here is there is so much going on, and in fact, we are you know seeing a, a, a little bit of crossover on certain events, etc. So you've got to be quite selective now. Obviously, keep it locked on DXB today. If your finger on the pulse, we'll tell you what's going on. But if you've got a piece of advice for somebody out there who 
who wants to sort of plan ahead. What's the best resource to go to, to know what's going on, when's going on? So definitely visit uh, Dubai Calendar, which sits on visitdubai.com. Um, you can filter business and leisure and different events. Okay. And you know, that will be a very helpful tool to, to basically find out what's happening. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, that, that's a big thing, like advertising and, and, and letting people know and understanding what's happening. I remember I did a, an advertisement for Dub Dubai Summer Surprises in 2009. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it was fantastic. And, and But in so those so days... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't totally even work not in buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but in those days, it wasn't obviously, it was television was the medium. It wasn't. <laughs> but now there's so many different mediums for uh, letting people know what's happening in the city. Exactly. So, yeah, obviously you've got your magazines, uh, your, your radios, your TVs, and yeah, so looking forward to it. Well, thanks all. Please stick around with us. Uh, we've got a lot happening on the show, so it'd be good to get your input on.